Hey, Dough Rollers, welcome back to the channel. So the Fed recently released a study they put out every three years that tracks the average net worth, income, and debt of families in the United States. And I'm gonna show you what that is today. We're gonna to focus on net worth and we're gonna look at it in, in particular by age. You know, I'm not really into comparing myself to other people because that, you know, can just get depressing. But I do think it'd be helpful to kind of get a, a, a general sense as to where we stand. And the data is just interesting. In fact, you're not gonna believe the average net worth. So let's dive right into it. So this is uh, the Fed's website. And we're gonna look at a couple of charts as you can see here. I will leave a link uh, to this below the video. This happens to be before tax family income, the average, which is what the mean is. You can see here in the drop down, they have a ton of different statistics and data that you can look at. As I said, we're gonna focus on net worth and be ready for these numbers. I, I was stunned, here we go. So what we're looking at is the average net worth of all families in the United States. It's in 2022 dollars. So if we go all the way back to 1989, in 2022 dollars, meaning adjusted for inflation, for all families, the average net worth was about $436,000. Today, all the way to the right, look at that, $1,059,000. That's the average. I was stunned by that number. Now, before we get too depressed, keep in mind that this mean or average, you know, that's what we calculated in grade school, right? Um, it, it's, you know, where you add up, in this case, all the wealth and you divide by the number of families. Uh, it's an interesting data point, but the problem is this. The Elon Musks and Warren Buffetts of the world with their hundreds of billions of dollars skew the results. And so in many cases, it can be more useful to look at the median, which would be where that point where, you know, half of the households have more and half have less. We're going to look at the median, but before we get there, let's, let's look at the average in one other way. We can look at it based on age. And we're going to uncheck this. Let's start with the less than 35. So this is folks younger than 35. Again, this is the average. We'll look at the mean and just or the median in just a second. The thing that struck me about this, we can see the average $183,000 in net worth. The thing that struck me about this is look at the jump from just three years ago. I mean, it more than doubled. And you know, a lot of that, no doubt, from the, the stimulus and uh, the stock market 2022 was rough, but uh, there's been a lot of, of uh, growth in, in investments. Uh, there, there was growth in the value of homes. So to the extent that younger folks have homes, many don't. But the jump in net worth for that age group is, well, as you can see, the highest you know, three-year change we've seen going back to 1989. And in fact, if we look at it, the next uh, age up, 35 to 44, there was a jump. But as you can see, boy, it's you know not nearly as impressive. Of course, their starting point was a lot higher, just over half a million, $500,000. Uh, and they had a nice jump to 548, but boy, not nearly the kind of jump that the, the, the younger folks had. And that's a trend uh, that kind of continues. 45 to 54 was basically flat, uh, and 55 to 64 went up. But again, you just don't see those big jumps. Now, we can look at these others briefly. Uh, 75 and older, by the way, the thing that struck me about both of these age groups You'll notice they both went up, and not as much as the, the under 35 crowd, but still big jumps. And these are folks in retirement. These are folks that by and large aren't working and are, in, in theory, spending down their, their money. But look at that, still had pretty sizable jumps in net worth uh, in three years. So now let's go to, uh, we're gonna go back to uh, all families. Let's look at the median. I think this is probably the most useful for comparison. And a couple things to point out. The median, that's where half of the families have a higher net worth and half have a, a, a lower net worth, 192,000. That's across all age groups. Uh, two things that, that struck me here. One is, again, a nice jump from just three years ago, 141,000 up to 192,000. That's over about, about a third, 33% jump. But the other thing is, it's only now in 2022 that we, we surpass the, the median uh, net worth back in twenty in two thousand and seven. Obviously, it it fell quite a lot during the Great Recession, but it's taken us fifteen years to get back above that point. Now we passed it pretty nicely, uh, one ninety two compared to one seventy three. But boy, that's a long time to to get back to where we were. Now, 
again, that's looking at all families. Uh, when we look at by age group, the numbers are fascinating. Uh, so we're going to untick them. We'll start with the younger folks, those uh, under 35. Again, just like we saw with the averages, the median. Man, what a massive jump from $16,000 just three years ago to, to 39000 You know, I mean, that's like tri tripling. And you can see that it's the biggest jump, I mean, by far, going back to 1989. And it now far surpa surpasses the highs of, say, 2004 or even 1995. Uh, so the last three years have been, you know, very good for the, the younger crowd, the folks under age uh, 35. Big, big jump. Now, I can tell you right now, it, the data doesn't look like that for older for the older uh uh, age groups. We'll start with 35 to 44. Now, again, a nice jump from 105 to 135, but but they're basically just getting back to where they were, more or less. 2007, they were at 126,000. In 01, they were at 131. Going back all the way to 1989, they were at 130. And and now 135. So they, they basically haven't improved much, if at all, since 1989, you know, we're talking over 30 years. I mean, it's good that they've gotten back to that point, uh, but it's been a struggle. And I, I, my theory is, is that the Great Recession, 07, 08, and 09, uh, hurt this age group uh, uh, the most, perhaps, and certainly a lot more than folks that, that today are younger than 35, many of whom, uh, you know, weren't even in the workforce during the Great Recession. Uh, and so I think uh, this age group is really sort of just now digging itself out of the Great Recession hole. Uh, it's good that they're there, but boy, it took a while, huh? Uh, if we go up to, to this age group, we could see 45 to 54, another big jump. They were also hurt by the Great Recession, and we can see they're still not back there yet. 07, their, their median net, net worth was 264000 And, you know, it's close now. It's 246000 but they're still not there. So this age group seems to have been hurt even more by the Great Recession, and they're still trying to recover. And if we go here to the 55 to 64 group, it's interesting. They've recovered from the Great Recession. They're now at 364,000 versus 363, so they've sort of broken even. Uh, but they're still behind the 2004 number of 395,000. A lot of that could be real estate. You know, the, the, the real estate values, as you may recall back then, were just going through the roof and it continued past 2004, but at 2007 and then thereafter, obviously, uh, real estate was a, took a big hit. And so uh, that's a big part of folks' net worth. And, uh, and so they're really sort of still digging themselves out of that hole uh, from the Great Recession. If we get to 65 and uh, to 74, uh, I think they've, they've obviously done a little bit better. A big jump in the last three years, right, from 308 to 410. Um, uh, probably a, a big part of that is uh, investment returns. They're now entering re in or entering retirement. Uh, it, you know, they may have, they also may have had potentially more equity in their homes when the Great Recession hit, potentially, depending. Obviously, it's going to vary from household to household, but but maybe they got through that a little bit better than the 45 to 64 uh, age group. Uh, but again, it's interesting that their net worth continues to climb even as they're in the retirement age. And if we go to the last one, again, uh, they've gone up as well, even as they continue presumably to spend money in retirement. They're at the highest median net worth, at least going back to 1989. Uh, 2016 was pretty good, 326000 uh, but now it's 334. So even as they spend money in retirement, their overall median net worth is going up. Uh, so interesting numbers, obviously uh, 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 big improvements across all ages, both mean and median. It will be interesting to see the next three years as we fully digest the difficult 2022 stock market. Of course, we don't know what uh, obviously uh, 24 is going to look like. Uh, or, or 25, but it'll be interesting to see how these numbers change over the next three years. As I mentioned, there's a ton of data in here. You can look at uh, average net worth, or excuse me, average debt across all families. One thing that struck me about debt, by the way, is if you look at age of reference person, and then you look at the 75 or older, these are folks that are retired, right? They still have a, a, a median, this is median, uh, debt of 36,000. If you go to average, 
uh, it jumps to 94,000. This is folks, you know, 75 or older. But a lot of data here to digest. As I said, I will leave a link to this below uh, the video. And there you go. Average and median net worth has gone up, I think, significantly in the last three years, particularly for you folks that are under the age of 35. But it's, they've gone up well for every age uh, group. Uh, so there you go. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave them in the comments below. And until next time, remember, the best thing money can buy is financial freedom.